The plot of the original Matrix trilogy established the machines as a unified entity focused on holding humanity captive in a perpetual digital dream. At the end of Matrix Revolutions, the machines made a deal with the humans, which may have caused a political conflict between them and the subsequent destruction of the Architect. In this video, we will be talking about what happened to the father of the Matrix and the Machine Civil War. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. To understand what happened to the Architect, we must start at the beginning. The Matrix was created as a tool to keep humanity in a state of perpetual sleep while their bodies were used as power sources for the machines. Following the depletion of the planet's natural resources and the darkness caused by the darkening of the sky, the machines turned to humans as their new source of energy, cultivating them in vast fields and plugging them into the Matrix to keep their minds occupied while their bodies produce power. The Architect designed the Matrix to be a near-perfect reflection of the world at the end of the 20th century, a time he considered to be the peak of human civilization. Relying on equations and algorithms, he was able to accurately replicate every minute detail of the real world, every taste, smell, feel, sound, and sight. This level of realism was necessary to maintain the illusion and prevent humans from realizing their true predicament. The first Matrix I designed was quite naturally perfect. It was a work of art, flawless, sublime, a triumph equaled only by its monumental failure. The architect faced several challenges in designing the Matrix. He couldn't find the balance of the equation to keep humans connected to the program. The machines had to use humans as batteries because as the story goes, humans destroyed the sky. So the leaders of men conceived of their most desperate strategy yet, a final solution. The, the destruction the of the sky. Thus would man try to cut the machines off from the sun, their main energy source. Therefore, the architect created different simulations to try to find the perfect matrix, from paradisiacal places to hellscapes. However, he could not find that balance until the Oracle, an intuitive program, came up with an idea. Add the illusion of choice to the equation, and Yahtzee, that allowed the machines to control the humans more effectively inside the simulation. When the anomaly was accidentally formed, they managed to incorporate it into the design, creating the Path of the One, which helped the machines reset the Matrix and keep it stable. However, this delicate balance was disturbed by Neo's interference. Neo managed to negotiate a truce between the machines and the humans. The program Smith has grown beyond your control. Soon he will spread through the city as he spread through the Matrix. You cannot stop him. But I can. What do you want? Peace. At the end of Matrix Revolutions, the architect promised the Oracle that he would respect this truce. What about the others? What others? The ones they want out. Obviously, they will be freed. I have your word. What do you think I am? Human? It wasn't until Matrix Resurrections that we found out the sad truth. The architect kept his word, but compliance with the truce led to a decrease in the power available to the machines, causing a machine civil war. All of the troubles started in the machine cities. Power plants were unable to produce enough energy. Nothing can breed violence like scarcity. For the first time, we saw machines at war with one another. According to the new villain, The Analyst, he was present at the moment Neo sacrificed himself. He saw the power that the anomaly had and decided to take that power for himself and instigated the civil war. His ultimate goal was to take control of the Matrix. The Analyst took advantage of the discontent of many of the most powerful machines and put them against the Architect. Eventually, too many humans were allowed to leave, and eventually, the machines began to face severe power shortages. Factions began to form among the machines, competing for the limited energy resources. Some even went as far as to demand the dissolution of the truce. The situation got so desperate that it turned into open warfare, and for the first time, machines were fighting other machines. In the end, the architect was purged. 
His deletion was a monumental event in the history of the Matrix. His absence created a power vacuum that was filled by the new architect, the Analyst. He took control of the Matrix, and unlike the Architect, he wasn't based on calculations and equations, but on the manipulation of human emotions. Now, my predecessor loved precision. His Matrix was all fussy facts and equations. He hated the human mind, so he never bothered to realize that you don't give a shit about facts. It's all about fiction. The only world that matters is the one in here. And you people believe the craziest shit. Why? What validates and makes your fictions real? Feelings. The Analyst was not a program of numbers, algorithms, and logic like the Architect. His name indicated his unique nature. He was not a system builder. He was an observer, a learner of individuals and their emotions. He understood at a deep level that emotions are powerful forces that can control people more effectively than any calculated system. With this knowledge, he changed the Matrix and replaced the Architect. Yet there is no visual proof that the Architect was deleted, so there is the possibility that a copy of the Father still exists somewhere. If the Merovingian could escape the Analyst and the Purge, who's to say that the Architect did not survive the Machine's civil war? The Analyst's takeover also further divided the Machines into more competing factions, many of which were desperately trying to reclaim control of the Matrix and some of them have joined with the humans in the real world. The analyst's coops spilled over the Matrix. The program instituted a purge of any programs not loyal to him. The Oracle was one of the first to be deleted shortly after sending a warning to the humans that a new power was emerging in the machine city. Sati's parents, Ramakandra and Kamala, tried to defy the analyst, but when he discovered their betrayal, he eliminated them both. Sati survived and continued in the footsteps of the Oracle, helping the humans when she could. The Architect was destroyed because he kept his sight of the truce. Some machines might have seen that as progress, others could have seen it as a betrayal or a sign of weakness. And the Analyst, the master of manipulation, took advantage and weaseled his way to ultimate control. But do you agree? Is the Architect really gone or is he still somewhere? waiting for his opportunity for a grand return. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.